One of the basic tenets of political thought in the West is that the government doesn't have the right to treat certain people or groups worse than others because of their beliefs. Unfortunately, that's exactly what some government officials are doing every single day on American public university campuses. Of course, universities don't advertise that they are violating the Constitution. Instead, they veil their actions, hiding unconstitutional policies behind language like bias response and anti-discrimination. No college student gets excited about being labeled biased and discriminatory. So all too often, the unlawful policies remain in place, even when that means students' basic First Amendment rights are being violated. That's what happened at Montclair State University in New Jersey. At Montclair State, all students pay a student activity fee, which goes into a pool of money that student organizations can use for events and activities. Because all students pay in equally, all student groups should have equal access to the funds. That makes sense. But instead, Montclair State was controlling access to the funding based on seniority and the group's viewpoint. Under this class system, groups that the student government agreed with got more of the money than groups that held a different perspective. And that wasn't the only unconstitutional policy aimed at picking and choosing winners and losers at Montclair State. The administration also exerted absolute control over who expressed what viewpoints on campus. Student groups, and even individual students, were compelled to apply at least two weeks in advance for a permit to speak or protest on campus. And the campus bureaucracy decided, with no oversight whatsoever, who received a permit and who did not. What's more, administrators had gone so far as to create a task force to identify, monitor, and punish anything its members perceived as biased. Their definition of that term was variable, arbitrary, and applied most often to social and political issues in groups or individuals whose views university officials didn't like. The penalty for those accused of bias could include re-education seminars, formal discipline, and even expulsion. Public college and university campuses are supposed to be marketplaces of ideas, where students enjoy multiple opportunities to express their own beliefs and to encounter the beliefs of others. But when an autocratic bureaucracy controls speech on campus and decides which groups receive funding based on their viewpoint, the marketplace becomes an echo chamber. In 2019, a group of Montclair State students decided that enough was enough. They chose to stand up for the First Amendment rights of all students, not just the ones the administration happened to agree with. So the campus chapter of Young Americans for Liberty, a libertarian group, held a demonstration on campus. Three YAL students gathered in a common area, outdoors, dressed in orange jumpsuits, and quietly held up signs satirically calling for gun control. No violence, no commotion. Not long after the demonstration began, though, university police arrived and ordered the students to disperse. The students had not obtained the proper permissions to gather, said the police. And without that prior permission, they must keep their opinions about constitutionally protected freedoms to themselves. This policy as well as the class system and bias response task force, completely ignored the fact that all students at public colleges have the First Amendment rights to freedom of speech and freedom of association. And they do not lose those rights when they step onto campus. The students reached out to Alliance Defending Freedom, which filed a federal lawsuit against Montclair State. As part of a settlement, the university agreed to change its unconstitutional policies and dismantle its discriminatory task force. Now all students and student groups at Montclair State can access student funding on equal footing and gather and express their beliefs without fear of retaliation or punishment. So Montclair State University eventually did the right thing, but only after Yale sued it. Many other public universities across the country continue to enforce similarly unconstitutional policies that suppress speech, ban gatherings, withhold funding, and punish students for their beliefs. When groups like Yale speak up, they aren't just speaking up for their own rights. They're advocating for the rights of all students on all public campuses, all of whom ought to be free to speak and live according to their deeply held beliefs. Learn more about what ADF is doing to protect free speech on college campuses at adflegal.org. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and click the notification bell to make sure you never miss an episode.